What is encapsulation? We're going to use an example of Joe Ryder here. He's uh, going to be working on his computer and he is going to write his life story. What happens when it goes on the TCP IP network pro protocol stack? What happens when it goes through that stack? Well, let's take a look at the uh, TCP IP model. Well, it has the application layer, transport layer, internet layer, network access layer. We're going to look at what happens as the information passes through these layers. Joe Ryder is writing his life story right? and he's busy pumping out the pages. Now what we can look at is that what he wants to do is he's writing his manuscript. So we're going to send it to an editor. Right? The manuscript represents the data in the application layer. It's too large to transmit so we break it up into chapters. These chapters represent the transport layer segments. We're going to number the chapters. This is chapter 1, chapter 2, and chapter 3. These numbers correspond to sequence numbers. This way we can transmit the information. If it arrives out of order, we can put it back into order. One of the things we want to do is we want to ID the program that it was made with. Uh, this was WordWriter Pro. We also want to say what's the client license, 1234AB. This equi is equivalent to the port numbers. Now this information make up, makes up the part called the transport header. So we take each one of these segments and we put it into an envelope. In the envelope we add information, the building address. We also add uh, the information of who sent it, who didn't, or who didn't, uh, where is it going to. That becomes the destination address and the source address. This is equivalent to IP addressing information. It says how do we get to that building? How do we get to that network? What we also want to do is give it routing information. This is going by Airmail Express. So, routing information. Find the shortest path to the destination network. Airmail. This information makes up the internet layer header. Something we want to do is ID specific people. We're sending this to specific people. We're sending it to Mr. P. Editor and we're also saying who's it from. This is the network access layer and now we're talking about physical destination addresses and source addresses, sometimes called the MAC address in Ethernet. Something we might want to add is uh, how many pages are we sending? Right? Um, this would be part of what we'd call error checking. We're going to send you 67 pages, so when you receive it, you should have 67 pages. So that's our error checking. What this information does is it becomes part of the header and the trailer. So the header is at the beginning of the inf uh, information, and the trailer is the end. And this is for would be an example for Ethernet. Now it's ready to send. So we trot on over and Joe Ryder puts it in the mailbox. And what happens is a postal truck comes along and picks it up. So what these become are examples of protocols. They could be ATM and token ring and frame relay and PPP protocol and what have you. And they're on the road. The road could be copper, fiber, um, it could be satellite communications. It gets to an airplane, it could be RF, undersea cables. So we have lots of different media that it could be. Let's do a little summary here. Encapsulation. Each layer adds a header and an optional trailer to the information from the preceding layer. We start with application data. That was the manuscript that he wrote. And what we do is we break it up into segments. So at the transport layer we break it up into segments. We give them sequence numbers so that we can keep track of uh, the order. We can put them back in order. 
each one of these segments we add a transport header. A transport header is going to have, that's where the sequence number is going to be located. It's going to have destination, source address, which are port numbers, and it's going to have more information. It goes down to the internet layer and adds an internet header. Internet header is going to have destination and source IP addresses to find the network and routing information, how do we get there, and more. Then we're going to get the network access layer and what we're going to add is destination and source address physical uh, addresses to find the exact device that we're going to. Uh, and there could be more information there. We're going to add error checking in the uh, trailer. Um, we're also, if we take a look at what's going on here, this is a really good example of a, a, a encapsulation. We take the application data, break it up into segments. Uh, segment three here, what we do is we add a transport header with information specific to the transport layer. That becomes a transport layer PDU. Then we take this transport layer PDU, and what we